everyone. My name is Dr. Gretchen Hawley. I'm a physical therapist and a multiple sclerosis certified specialist at The Missing Link. I wanted to record a quick video for you today to share with you how you should be measuring in order to get the appropriate walking stick height for you. One thing to consider is if you will be wearing shoes or not while using your walking stick. If so, if you'll be wearing shoes more than 50% of the time that you're using your walking stick, then please wear shoes while you are measuring for your walking stick. But if you will not be wearing shoes, then please do not have shoes on while you're taking the measurements. You're going to want to get a measuring tape. And let me just warn you, this is going to be a whole lot easier if you have someone else who can help you out. What you're going to do is stand up as tall as possible with your feet about shoulder distance apart and your arms straight down by your side. Then you're going to have someone measure from the bottom of your foot all the way up to the wrist bones. You'll know where your wrist bones are if you put your hand up like this and you can see them or feel them on either side. So the measuring tape will be on the floor and it will be marked up to where your wrist bones are. I would suggest taking a measurement on either side. You never know, one arm might be a little bit longer than the other and you can take the average. What you'll find is that when your walking stick is delivered to you, if you stand up tall with your arms straight down and you just place the walking stick next to your body, the top of the handle should be hitting that bone that you measured to. This is going to be the safest height for most people when you're using a mobility aid, specifically a walking stick. With that said, if you are used to using a walking stick at a different height and that feels like a safe and comfortable height for you, then please make sure you choose a height that is equivalent to the height of your current walking stick. 